American carnage as voting gets underway across the country? And is he getting policy ideas from a B-list Hollywood movie? Well, that's because what he is saying sounds like it was ripped from the pages of The Purge. It's a movie franchise, but here it is. All these stores go out of business, right? They don't pay rent. The, the, the city doesn't have money. The whole, it's a chain of events. It's so bad. One rough hour, and I mean real rough, the word will get out and it will end immediately. End immediately. You know? How is that not violent rhetoric? We have to acknowledge the reality going on in every city in America. Not answering Crime the question. Is mass not answering the question. That is answering the question. Because How is the reality in America, hold on, Keith, the reality in America is that crime is massively up. It crime is, so is not massively yes, up. That's is. a lie. You can bang the table crime, all you want, but you're that's lying. Not true. You're lying. We already FBI, know that there are the cities. The FBI just released data there. this week. You the already, crime is going you down. Are, you already know that. Oh my God! Why do you, why, Abby? Why do you let this man I, lie on your national, I'm national I'm television? Not lying. Like I'm telling you that exactly. not right. You may not want to lie. You may not want to. Business, right? They don't pay rent. The, the, the city doesn't have money. The whole—it's a chain of events. It's so bad. One rough hour, and I mean real rough. The word will get out, and it will end immediately. End immediately. You know. One day of whatever you want, I guess. It is a literal movie plot, but real life policy? Well, it's not policy. And this is red meat for the base because they don't ask questions about, well, how would you do this? And how would this work? It's just red, red meat. And I think it works for the base, but um, it actually, it reminded me of The Purge first. And then it reminded me more of The Hunger Games mm. where the, the ruling class puts a bunch of people together every year and says, you guys kill each other to show control and instill fear in an electorate, in the citizenry, if we're comparing movies. Um, but this is real life. And this is the kind of thing that turns off the people he needs to win. People in swing states who are undecided, who want to hear policy solutions, not stuff like this. I mean, but in all seriousness, Congressman, I mean, is he suggesting that cops can do whatever they want for a day and that will actually solve the problem? No, he's not. And I, even the, the clip you just played, what is it? Five seconds out of, for Donald Trump, an hour speech? I think a lot of times people say, oh, well, he said this. For five seconds? Yes, he says, he says things that are unscripted. He goes off the cuff, off the cuff. He's not serious. There's no policy behind that. But I think where the American people truly are is they at least want to hear what somebody is thinking full-throated versus Kamala Harris, who is completely scripted, like badly I, scripted. I guess I wonder and there's nothing coming out of her. Now, this is Keith Boykin and Donald's going back and forth. He wants to make sure that police are supported so they're upholding the law. In every city in our country, I was in uh, Dwayne Reed last night here in New York just trying to get razor blades so I can get a fresh shave to today, for today. <laughs> I had to press the button for the, for the attendant to come to open up the case just so I can get a pack of razor blades. That's what's going on in every major city of America. Americans are fed up with that kind of stuff. It happens because you do have a dereliction of support for law enforcement in too many cities in America. And so there's a major angst going on amongst the American people. Donald Trump said a comment for five seconds. That's not setting policy. That's Donald revealing Trump, the angst um, of the American Do people. Donald Trump has a history of saying inflammatory things. It's not just those five seconds, Congressman, and you know mm -hmm. that. He has a history that goes back from the time when he first ran for office, and he's talked about telling people in his rallies to knock the crap out of him. He, he had a history, even when I was working here at CNN, he was telling people how CNN is the enemy of the people. And you know what? A guy named Caesar Sayak sent pipe bombs to the- uh, CNN is the enemy of the people. <laughs> you are uh, spreading propaganda. <laughs> you know, you're talking about Donald Trump rhetoric, but this guy has suffered the attempt of two assassination, two assassination attempts, and one bullet actually struck him. If he didn't turn his head, he'll be dead. So what are you talking about? 
this building or not to the other building that CNN used to be in and tried to kill people. Donald Trump says things that can get people hurt. When he talked about liberating Michigan, what happened? Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan, they tried to kidnap her. There's a plot to try to kidnap her. When, when, every time he says something that, that's just five seconds, inflammatory statements like that, what happened when we have January 6th? It's because Donald Trump opened his big mouth and wouldn't shut up. And I wish so, so at some point, Congressman, you would at least have the courage to stand up to your, to your dear leader and tell him what he's doing wrong. Are we gonna Don't talk just about, apologize we gonna for talk him. About the Don't just directed, apologize for him. Are we going to talk about the rhetoric directed at Donald Trump? Because we do realize well, that he's been well, trying to kill Are you going to continue let's, to, let's, to, let's, to let's try, try not to answer the question? Take his life. So, you, so, so you're not going to answer what I just said? Hang on one second. Let's talk about that. Let's actually talk about rhetoric. Because here's what Trump supporters have been saying. People hear this violent, dangerous rhetoric, and we're going to have a copycat. It's coming, and uh, it's just unfortunate. Somebody's going to get killed. I'd say that's pretty strong evidence that the left needs to to tone down the rhetoric and needs to cut this crap out. Somebody's going to get hurt by it. It works when we see the liberal elite literally trying to take out a political opponent. Now, do they cause it? Absolutely. They contribute to it. They're complicit with it because of their words. So according to those uh, gentlemen there saying that Trump is a threat to democracy is violent rhetoric, but Trump saying, let's just have one really violent day. That is not violent rhetoric. No, no, he didn't say Trump, one violent day. Trump That's not even what he said. Well, let's, let's be honest about what can he play, actually said. Can we play, play it again. Trump again? Play it again because he didn't even say that. But go ahead. Can play we it play again. it again? I want to hear all these stores go out of business, right? They don't pay rent. The, the, the city doesn't have money. The whole, it's a chain of events that's so bad. One rough hour, and I mean real rough, the word will get out and it will end immediately. End immediately. You know? how, is, how is that not violent rhetoric? We have to acknowledge the reality going on in every city in America. Not answering Crime the question. Is mass- not answering the question. That is answering the question. Because how is the reality it? in America, hold on, Keith, the reality in America is that crime is massively up. It crime is, so- is not massively yes, up. That's is. a lie. You can the table crime- all you want, but that's lying, not true. You're lying, Congressman. You're lying. We already FBI, know that there the is... The FBI, FBI like, just released data there. this week. The crime already, is going down. Already, we already know that... Oh my so God! Why do you, why, Abby? Why do you let this man I, lie on your national, I'm, national I'm not television lying. like I'm this? Telling you that this exactly. is not right. You may not. You, you may not. No, I am not. Lying. Because you're lying to the American he, people now. And so I want talk, to be respectful of what you're trying to say. Hang on a second. Go ahead. You would just let Go me ahead. talk. I will explain exactly what you want me to explain. We have the data. The FBI literally put out data today showing that crime is down this year for the first six months of the year. But look at the trend line. Okay, the, the, uh, crime is down in all these different categories. And then mm-hmm. there is a trend line that shows that crime is going down. So why, I, I, why do you continue to say that? I, I do think, though, oh, in, in some I'll place, let you get in, but I do want the Congress oh, sure, to answer sorry, that. Sorry, mm-hmm. If you look at crime rates in the United States since the pandemic to this current point, this current period in time, crime is up. Okay, Year, look over the, the, look over the, the years, crime up. is up. Violent crime is Look at the chart. I'm looking right okay. now. I'm looking crime right now. is on its way down. It has not returned to pre-pandemic levels yet, but it is trending down. That well, is a fact. I'm, I'm looking at your chart right now. 2021 is when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris came into office. Look at that spike up in violent crime. What okay. Donald Trump... Do you, see, on, where, Abby, but this do you is see where it went after Abby, 2021? Abby, is this is important. This is important. But you, I don't understand you know, why you're This is really important. Crime is going down. Put the chart back up. Put the chart back up. Put it back, back up. up. Crime, the, look at where it's going. 2021, which is when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris came into office in 2021. The trend line is up for violent crime in the United States of America. And you know what? Empirical Hang fact. On. I'm not you, gonna that's sit your chart. It's not even mine. I just saw it for the first time. I just saw the chart. Congress I'm not gonna sit here and let him lie. But, on that but, I, but I, but I want to. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait one second on, because we we're, this we is have silly. to. Hold on. It's not silly when people. We have when to. Congress, and I'm sorry. Just give and I'm sorry, Abby. Please. Go ahead. Of course. We have to deal in facts here. Thank you. Okay. It's 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 clear as day. The, the FBI put out statistics for the first half of this year. Yeah. The numbers, the trend lines are going down in all of those different categories. Murders, rapes, robberies, property crime, aggravated assault. For 2023, the trend line is going down. If you don't believe the FBI, independent people who look at these numbers say the same thing. There was a spike in crime during the pandemic. That is true. Nobody's disputing that. But the, but the reality is, is that crime is going down. You don't have to... 
You don't have to twist the facts I'm to not, make the case that people feel Abby, unsafe. Just say people feel Abby, unsafe. I'm not even twisting the facts. You put up a chart. I just looked at the chart myself. It, the bottom line was from 2021. Well, what happened in 2021? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris came into office. This is when Democrat politicians were all the rage for defund the police. This had nothing yes. to do with that. Can I finish my all point? Right, because this is the problem. They don't know trend lines. Uh, draw the trend line. This is what Byron Don Donalds is, is saying. The trends are going up. Even if you have the spikes and up and down, if you draw the trend line, the trend is up. I think that's the problem they're having. They're trying to draw the trend line from one year to the next year. That's not a trend line. The Brian Byron Donalds is talking about year over year. So if you actually draw the actual trend line, it, it is going up. Um, and I, I believe the FBI is not reporting um, the crimes of immigration. We already know that report came out. We already know a million, close to 900,000 illegal immigrants that's over here on the, in the United States have committed a crime. Is that included in the data? We don't know. Probably, probably not. They don't want to include that in the data. Uh, some people are saying Los Angeles wasn't reported, but I, I guess there was a community note on X saying, no, Los Angeles was included in numbers in some other larger city. I would like to see the numbers. Okay, we could say the crime is going down 42%, but if it was high as hell, well... It's still up. <laughs> it's still up. Even though it was abnormally up during period of 2023, it's still up. It's not at normal levels. I want to move speak. I, No, no, but you, you can't. You really did not. You can't you, move you've monopolized this entire you, conversation for the most part. Keith, you yelled across minute. the table, didn't even let because me Because you lied. Play. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. You don't want Keith, Keith Boykin has panties. <laughs> Good lie. Stop it. A minute. <laughs> and Byron Donalds is, you banging on the table. What was she banging on the table for? You about to do something? <laughs> I want to hear the All truth. Right. That's the problem. The let truth me is let you the problem is you don't want to hear the truth. Let me let you finish your thoughts. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is similar. To get I don't even know why you have similar, him on the stage tonight. Similar oh. to inflate because I'm bringing facts to you. Because you're lying. Because similar to inflation in 2024, the trend lines are coming down slowly. But that ignores the reality of 2021, 2022, 2023. You know what the American people are concerned about, which Donald Trump is speaking to? Massive inflation brought to us by Joe Biden and Kamala Not Harris. True. It is very Not true. true. Even Larry Summers said, you can interrupt all you want, but it's the facts. I was... Keith Boykin, you know what, this guy, I don't know where he lives at, but you're saying people are not worried about the prices? <laughs> like, come on now, this is the most, the thing that everybody's talking about. This is going to decide the election. People are worried about their economic dollar or the dollar, their dollar power, their buying power. And we have less buying power because of the inflation. So you're saying people are not worried about that. Where does he live at? <laughs> he lives in his bubble. Oh, my God. In the house, you were not. I know exactly what I happened. I know what you were doing in the but house, again, I'm, But again, I'm going to move Keith, on. Hang tight, Keith. I'm going to finish. Thank you. you have massive inflation created by Joe Biden and Kamala not Harris. true. The, own, the same chart you just put up, 2021. 20, through 2023, crime rates going up and then slowly tapering off in 2024. And then we're supposed to sit here and act like, oh, happy days are here again because the trend lines are going down. The trend lines over the last four years are massively up. That's what Donald Trump okay, is speaking to. Crime and is that's why the American history. people have serious issues about what's going on in America. But I will say this. But the trend lines are not just going down, but the crime is, is going back to very close to what it was before the I, pandemic. <laughs> Uh, and Abby's being disingenuous. She has to, you know, um, you know, keep her job. She has to keep her job so she won't um, get 